Bill started in the 1990s. In the political turmoil of 1996 to 97. Forced people to flee their home country, both because of the political persecution and also in search of a better life. My father was one of them. When he arrived here in London, he felt alone. He wanted his family with him. He decided to bring me over first so that I could work and earn money and then bring the rest of the family. I was 21 at the time. I felt excited to be going. I wanted an adventure to discover a new world. To see how it was. And for some reason, I liked England. Even when the English team played, I always wanted them to win. My dream became England. My father managed to get false documents for me. 1,000 pounds for a European passport. I flew to Belgium and travelled to the UK by bus. When we got to Dover, immigration came onto the bus. And they said, This isn't your passport. I insisted that it was mine. It was a good passport. Eventually we got fed up and just said, Go. As we travelled, I saw the signs of London. 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 And I thought, I finally made it. I cannot describe the happiness I felt at that time. In the beginning, I had to accept whatever job I could get. I worked cleaning offices every day from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Then 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. in a hotel where they knew we were all illegal. We didn't have any rights. They would insult me, but I would have to stay quiet. I would clean 16, 17 rooms a day for four pounds an hour. For most migrant workers, that's the way you have to work to survive and to send money home to your family. You always think that maybe immigration is going to raid the hotel. Every day when you wake up, you have in your mind that maybe that day you'll be arrested. From the moment you wake up in the morning till you go to bed at night, you never feel safe. For me, it started to improve after about five years or so. I got a job in catering. It was eight pounds an hour. Life started to get better in a way. After I was here for ten years, I was thinking that I would never be legal here. Then, three years ago, the Home Office decided to review our case. It took them one year. And then suddenly, one day, they said our application had been accepted. And that we got leave to remain. It's one of the best things that has happened to me and also to my family. It just changed my life completely. Now I don't have fear. I wake up every day with a clear mind. Being able to come in and out makes such a difference. You feel so free, you know. I had new documents, but that meant I have to start again here. I couldn't say I had experience working here because nobody could give a reference for me. My father told me there was an opportunity here at Senate House, working for four hours for £6.15, cleaning. It was degrading for me to go from having a full-time job earning £8 an hour to cleaning again. One day I was on the bus reading the Evening Standard newspaper and I saw that the workers at SOAS, UCL and Birkbeck got the London living wage. After their campaign. Even after the provost there said that it was a luxury to pay workers a living wage. So I took the paper to my colleagues and I said, They are getting £8.30. Why are we working for £6.15 an hour? Let's start a campaign. And I will always remember that day. Because that was the day I learned that one person can change things. We called Unison. And then we worked so hard recruiting workers to the union. Getting the support of the students. And we campaigned for two years. We got the London living wage for all the contract workers last April. By winning our campaign, we didn't just win a pay rise. The most important thing that we got was respect. Respect from our employers. From the people who thought that we would never be a part of this community. We've been recognised. They know we are going to stand up and speak out. 